Hello, good evening. Okay, so today I'm going to continue practice with the uh, boosting concert etude, and I might touch some Mozart later. It's the Mozart. It's something I've I've had some roadblocks with, so I finally had the uh, the feeling that I need to continue practicing it, like. I didn't feel like I could continue back then, but now I finally find the uh, motivation to continue. It's like I finally got into the mood because last time I was I wasn't in the mood like I was stuck, even though it's not technically very challenging, but it just felt like I'm stuck. So here I am. And we'll continue with the practice today. Now I hope I can progress much, unlike before, and not get stuck. I hope you enjoy. First, I'll, I'll just, I'm gonna start with the uh, with the Capustin uh, Etude. Oh, hello, Yagami. Thank you for liking the stream. I hope you enjoy. I forgot. Oh, thank you for the eye mask, Higami. Thank you. I forgot to block something. Okay. My YouTube name is... Oh, I better write it. Wait, let me write it first. Oh, hello, Curry. How are you? Thank you for coming to the stream. Sure, thank you for subscribing, you got me. I think I gotta take this more slowly because I haven't been able to fluently play it. This piece, what makes this piece hard is because it's classical, but it's also got jazz elements in it. So the chords are quite weird, but fun, but hard. And also because it's jazz, Jazzy, the syncopation and the rhythm is quite hard.
Kai Mia. Welcome to the stream. Hi Mia, hope you're well. Hello Kazuya, welcome to the stream. stuck in this part since a while and it's quite hard because of the fingering position and the rhythm I'm gonna be stuck here quite a while it seems. <laughs> oh thank you, Ikari. Yeah, I, I gotta take things slowly. And I gotta speed I uh, slowly speed down I I think. That works. You know, I'm some, not some, most pianists have a bad habit of speeding up, especially when they practice because it feels like they want to, they want to finish quickly because when you finish quickly, it felt very satisfying. But that's a bad practice, and I'm guilty of it. Thank you for liking. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, 
this like that. I think that's a problem with every musician when they practice. They tend to speed up even when they're starting slowly because of the the, adre the adrenaline. It's like when you feel like you want to be able to do the piece very quickly. You want to finish the song very quickly so you can play it sooner and show it to everyone. I think the publisher, the editor, might have uh, might have edited the uh, score a bit. There's a bit of mistake here. Like it sounds different than when uh, when I play as written. It sounds different when than when people play it. when people played it. Like when it's written, it sounds like this. which sounds a bit weird I hear people play it like this like but what's written is like this this notator is wrong so I'm going to play as people play it I think and think that a the editor made a mistake. jump here feels rather ineffective but hmm. but it feels like there's no other more effective way of fingering this It's, there's some mistake here from the editor, definitely. Oh, another, another bad habit of musicians practicing, I think they tend to lose focus 
and get distracted and start playing other songs because when we practice it feels like oh no it's like oh, boring and energy consuming it takes a mental toll on you and when you start to get tired you start to play our songs unconsciously like you you just suddenly start playing other songs that you are not practicing It's okay, Naomi. Sure, fine. Don't worry about it. you start feeling like you're stuck you just uh, automatically play it from the beginning like you don't want to play the, the place where you're uh, the part where you're stuck you just play it from the beginning until the place you're stuck like this yeah you just start playing from the start and not finishing the play the the uh, the part where you're you're not moving, not progressing. Okay, that part sorted out. Now next part. part now Welcome to the stream! sure 
You're welcome, Lion. effective way of fingering this because this feels so awkward when moving from this to here because I can't play it with my fourth finger because it means it's gonna be too far this like this is the best fingering for this but I'm not sure about the uh, the note before like how do my how do I make it so that it feels great so that it's ergonomical to move from here to here. I think I have to stick with the fingering. Yep. Yep, that's I think that's the best for now. And then I have to play it. I think that's how I should finger it, but it's quite hard. And also the rhythm here, the syncopation is quite complex.
problem with uh, pieces pieces that sound jazzy like this when you play it when you haven't got it it sounds like it's like nothing sounds weird you gotta play it correctly in the right tempo and it sounds good but when you practice it like this it sounds like I don't know like trash <laughs> Because the the, uh, the chords are quite complex, it sounds complex on its own. But last year, I I've never I would never had dreamed of learning this piece. Felt like it's still out of my technique. But now I'm tackling it. So I hope I can finish this piece. I think I gotta play the uh, right hand first for now.
slide things like that. how it sounds now I need to practice again slowly Oh, 
welcome, Bella. Thank you for liking the stream. <clears throat> Hi. How are you doing? I've been stuck here since, I don't know, um, 40 minutes ago. Hey, Andrew, how have you been? Yes, I'm live on my channel. Mm. Well, thank you, Bella. But I, I, I've been stuck here since like 40 minutes ago, since I started the stream. I've been practicing this part from the start. And it's quite hard. Welcome to the YouTube chat. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Bella. You mean um, how to make live broadcast in reality shows as well? Or you want to just show in YouTube? If you want to make a live broadcast in YouTube, I think you just add, uh, press the plus video button where you usually upload your video and there's gonna be an option to, to do a live stream. Yeah, there's going to be a... Usually it's uh, on the top right the icon is a video camera with a plus on it. Oh, on reality you got it. So you you gotta use your phone and then you press the uh, YouTube icon on the bottom of your stream on reality, and you you sign in onto your YouTube account, and when you play a video, it's gonna pop out like like the one happening in my reality.
So I actually didn't find this method until recently, like maybe yesterday. So I noticed people are playing YouTube videos on reality and I I thought like can I play live streams from YouTube here? So I tried. And it works. Yes, this piece is so nice. I, I love this piece, but it's so hard. It's so complex because of the jazz, jazz chords and rhythms and everything. Oh, I, I draw the avatar myself and rigged it using Live 2D myself, so basically I did everything. But you can, if you want, you can, you can um, have an artist do it for you. You pay them and they'll make it for you. And I have... Actually, I can do something like this. Yeah, like that. And I can... I've forgotten the uh, shortcuts. Ah, like that. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. I hope so. I hope I can get more subscribers and viewers. Oh, my YouTube channel, it's in the text, if you can see it, on the uh, reality stream. Yep, Sofiano Amadeus channel. <laughs> Andrew, you want the collab sometime? <laughs>
Okay, I think I gotta change the piece for now and continue next time on this piece. Now I gotta start with the Mozart. Okay. So this piece is a concerto by Mozart and I actually have to play this with an orchestra usually. So this piece is actually for piano and orchestra. I'm not very fluent here. So this is where the orchestra should be playing. Uh, it sounds like oh, the orchestra plays like that. So Mozart's pieces are they actually sound simple, but when you play it, because they're so simple, it's so hard to play. Like, any mistakes you make, you can hear it. That's why it's so hard. So if if anyone's in the in reality now, my model my avatar is head banging there. <laughs> it's head banging because it's tracking my camera as well. And my my camera is to the side for reality, so it's kinda crooked.
fallen down? Um, I haven't heard of that. Either I have or I've forgotten. I, I'm, I'm not sure what song that is. Sorry. But I think I can sing something else. But let me find the lyrics first because I... Okay... I can sing this one though. This is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. I'm all aglow, mm -hmm. and now I know the key to all heaven is mine my heart has wings mm -hmm, and i can fly i'll touch every stars in the sky so this is the miracle that I've been dreaming of <laughs> So this is love But it's really hard to to play while to play piano while you sing it's like it's a talent for those who can it's a talent it's really hard i can't even focus like you know how much mistake i've made in the piano I usually play only play the piano part this in this song but yeah I can sing it Thank you, Bella. Yeah, you you need more than one brain to be able to sing and play simultaneously. Like it's so hard. Like I I can only focus on one thing. 
singing, I guess either singing or playing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and back to Mozart. Oh, welcome, Haru. Hakuri and Haru, welcome. I didn't see her. Thank you, Bella. I hope I can get more followers and entertain more people. Thank you for liking the broadcast. Welcome. Yep, I'm playing. Thank you for following, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. Oh, thank you for a rose. Thank you for the roses, Mr. Robot. So my the biggest fear of musicians, especially me, is when you perform you can sometimes just go blank especially when you play a mistake you press mistake your mind can just sometimes go blank and that's 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 bad to go blank and stop playing in the middle of performances is really bad and it's really hard to train to not go blank and ignore the mistakes you make while you play and just just go with the flow
so your brain needs to get to make it hardwired that you do not stop playing when you make a mistake and it's really hard to train i i don't actually but i but i thought in a i thought music in the university not actually music but related to sound yeah i thought in a university back then but i'm retired now Where was I? Oh, uh, oh yeah. Wait, where was I? Sorry, I I, I blanked out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I I think I. Thank you. Mozart really sounds beautiful. But also Mozart is every pianist's nightmare. Cause they they look easy but they are not easy. Like they sound simple, they look simple. When you see the uh, music shade of a Mozart piece, they look simple. So simple to play, but they're so hard to get right. Chopin as well. Your sort of piece I'm learning, but uh, nocturne number one uh, is this. Is that this one? That's actually my first, the first piece by Chopin that I learned, like my very first piece from Chopin. Not actually my very first, but my first from Chopin.
So that part my teacher used to say, your hand needs to move like a cockroach, glide. Thank you, Layla, for following. My piano just glitched out for no reason just now. <laughs> So my teacher used to say that um, don't let don't let work or school or anything else make hold with your music display music. That's what he said. Oh, thank you for the roses. Hold on, I think my cat's calling. <laughs> okay, so I'll just a minute. So my cat just called, he asked to open the door, wanted to be let out from the room. <laughs> I'm a dog! <laughs> and Spike. There's another shop and piece that I'm learning right now, but I'm, I'm currently, I'm, I'm on the Oh, I'm from... I'm actually from Indonesia. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning this piece, but I'm currently having a block. Like, I'm, a, I'm on a halt. I, can't ju I just can't move from the, uh, the last point where I practiced. phone cables
Wait, uh, I gotta feed my cat. Just a second. Right, I'm back. Just fed my cat. I uh, went, thank you. Oh, I'm glad I can make your morning. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Okay, back to Mozart.
So this is actually the Mozart. It's actually a piece that I want to play in a concert and on YouTube. I, I'm not sure when I can have the concert, but um, I'm planning end of the year. But I hope I can finish the piece before the end. <laughs> it's gonna be played with an orchestra. So it's not gonna be only piano, but with an orchestra. But first things first, I gotta finish the piece first before I can... Oh, okay. Uh, we've got gas. <laughs> we've got gas. There he is. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. I hope I'm just as talented as the others. <laughs> He's calling, asking to play. been practicing all of my life. But the uh, few years off that I ha uh, that I had because I used there was a moment where I hated the piano. <laughs> Usual kid stuff where you're forced to study piano, study music too hard that you be that you hate it in the end. But I'm glad I'm back. Glad I loved it again. Fell back in love with music. <laughs> you know how you, when you're forced to do something all the time, you hate it, even though you loved it at first? Yeah, I think I took um, how many years break? Wait, I forgot. Um, I think I took around six years. Oh, and there's there he is again. <laughs> and there's there's another another time where I took a break because I just don't have a piano. Yep, here it is. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> yeah, when 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 you you're forced like it's just that it's like a reverse psychology when you when you're told to do something you just feel like you don't want to you just need to have the uh, the mood yourself. I'm glad as well. <laughs> I think he's gonna stay here for a while. 
shooting laser beams. Now he's gone. This hard. So this this is what's what's difficult about Mozart. So you hear it's simple, right? But once you there's some note you don't press correctly it doesn't sound and you know it you notice it or if you press a mistake you made a mistake you notice it because it's so simple like that
time to get sidetracked in this and get distracted. <laughs> Mrs. Sikami, welcome. Oh, you saw me. <laughs> I'm currently getting sidetracked and distracted. <laughs> yes, I'm live streaming. Thank you. I I hope I hope I can. I'm just as good as you said. <laughs> so that was a the second movement of the uh, piano concerto by Mozart. So it's the slow movement. That's why it's so pretty. <laughs>
Oh, well, thank you for the fireworks. See you later, Bella. Thank you for coming to the stream. My phone is actually dying. My phone just died. I'm sorry for those who are in reality right now. <laughs> How long have I streamed actually? Oh, one and almost two hours. I think. I think that's 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 all for today. I think. Uh, I haven't. I've progressed a bit with the uh, Kapustin Etude and the Mozart, there's little progress but I gotta make more progress on that. Maybe in the next stream, not sure when yet, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, <laughs> but I think I, I'm gonna have to rest for now. So. Thank you everyone for coming, for watching. So glad that you came. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed it. And see you next time. Bye-bye.